Good morning, YouTube. I'm still in downtown Dayton where I made the previous video. At. And, you know, over the last week, there was another story that uh, came in the news, which I decided to do a separate video for this. They're talking about bringing back what they call a shuttle or a, a shuttle bus for downtown Dayton that would bring people around for free or at least bring them around downtown at a very low discounted rate you know kind of like a streetcar system i got news for you people we had a system like that about 10 or 15 years ago in dayton that serviced things like the oregon district fifth third field and you know vice versa you know you know all that stuff it was called the right flyer now we didn't have actual tracks on the street it was it was basically a little street car kind of deal that was only maybe about a 30 foot wide it could hold about 20 people and you know the program was actually a pretty little neat program you know the right flyer it was actually a neat little bus and now you know there's talk all oh, they want to bring something like that back and my question is why if bringing a streetcar back to downtown was such a good idea and a little shuttle bus, why would they have ever gotten rid of what they had to begin with? And the thing, and the, you know, and the thing, and the thing, I got news for you, people. You know, RTA is going to open themselves up to a whole bunch of lawsuits and do a whole shitload of trouble if they bring this back. And also with the drug epidemic. You know, being so bad with the heroin and the fentanyl problem. And if you have a free shuttle bus, you know, people are just going to be getting on there. You know, overdosing, you know, drunks are going to be getting on there. Homeless people are going to get on there. Then, then if RTA were to try and, you know, deny service to those people saying, oh, you can't write. Guess what? That could open RTA, RTA up to a lawsuit. Because free for everybody, it would have to mean free for everybody so the idea of even bringing a shuttle bus back here is really stupid and i think downtown is you know at least the areas that that pe people go to at least a few days a year they do like down at riverscape and for whatever few events they hold in fifth third field of the oregon district it's plenty walkable enough and it's been that way where they haven't had to need for a streetcar system again so again it's just a it's another stupid idea to even try a streetcar system here it's not going to work it failed once before and you know they quietly swept that program under under the rug years ago it's it's probably been close to 10 or 15 years since they've last ran the right flyers uh if, if, if i could find any pictures or videos of the right flyer the old streetcar system i'll see about posting it but yeah but uh but you know rta is the one of the ones that wants to spearhead this crap and you know and the thing is with rta you know there is massive employee discontent you know they had a strike here a few months ago but yet their ceo wants to do some stupid shit of a of a streetcar and vice versa while the bus system here is crumbling and is not very good they can't even find they're they're having a hard enough time finding enough drivers to even fill all the routes that they need but yet they want to create something that's just going to have more headaches and, and as i said before they had a system but they they had the they had the exact same system that they that they want to bring back that they want to bring back you know now and you know vice versa. I do see a guy down the street. If he asks me what I'm doing, I'm gonna I'll, I'll tell him what I'm doing. But uh, a streetcar system for downtown Dayton is a really stupid idea, you know. And it'd be a, just a waste of waste of money. They want nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars for this toilet bowl. 
$950,000 for this derelict building, and plus that doesn't even include the cost of the demolition. But now they want to bring back a streetcar system, which, you know, we had about 10 or 15 years ago. It didn't work out. What you looking at on the building here? Carvings. Carvings. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame, you know, this building, because of what Steve Roush and his cronies did, they're going to end up having to eventually demolish this. Nobody's going to do anything with this. Trying to sell this for $900,000, and you're probably looking at another two to $400,000. And, you know, what are, what are your thoughts on, on, this, on this stupid streetcar system? It's kind of funny that we had this about 10 or 15 years ago, and it failed... And they quietly, you know, done away with it. Because I don't know if you remember the Wright Flyer from years ago. And now they're talking about bringing something like that back. It's not going to work. Yeah, I heard he got busted by the Secret Service. Who's that, Donaghy? Uh, Roush. Roush. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, there was something he was involved in down at his headquarters. And he's a crook. Well, he's, you know, he, he runs demolition service. Yeah, he's a, he, he's a crook. Demolition service, and the reason why the city won't go after him because he's in because he's in bed with the city council. Oh yeah, yeah, and that's why. Because I mean, if you know, if, if that was any other demolition company, the, the city would have forced them to have cleaned this mess up. There's no way they're going to sell this for nine hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars. There's just no way. Then, of course, the streetcar system, you know, with the amount of overdoses that we have in the city, if they bring a streetcar system back that people can ride for free, people are going to be overdosing on that all the time. Drug, you know, people are going to be drunk on it. Because it's funny, because if, because you know what, if the streetcar system was such a good idea, we would have never done away with it, you know, 10 years ago or however long it was, you know. I don't know if it's any more no, it's not because it's not. I mean, and it's just, you know, because, you know, if you remember the right flyers, I mean, you know, they're taught we had the exact same thing and it was a waste of money. Yep. And it's just been a big boondoggle. And I mean, downtown is plenty walkable for the stuff. They have, they don't need a street car. All right. <clears throat> but uh there's just it, it's just not economical, it's not practical, it's not realistic. None of this bullshit is. And 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 I predict if they do end up bringing back the street cars or whatever, which I don't even know if they got the right car, you got a couple geese flying above they're about the only ones down here besides that guy i was talking with they'll just quietly do away with it again because it's not realistic you know part of the problem with all these stupid ideas dayton thinks they can emulate bigger cities like new york city or chicago we're not new york city or chicago and chicago given their crime problems is not the city that we need to be trying to emulate and model ourselves after that's the last place people that we need to be trying to emulate and model ourselves after with all their problems but anyway uh i'm gonna wrap it up on this one i'd be interested to hear your thoughts on this and i know mr rn 222 or triple twos you know you know you know you live up in the you live up in the up in the detroit area and i've heard they're bringing back street cars up there so i would be interested to hear your thoughts on this video as well but that's it for this one